Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, welcome back everybody to Celebrating Act 2 with our special guest today of Manny Pacheco. Hi Manny. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's good to see everybody again. And uh, Manny, I have been talking to some uh, somebody about the video we did on comedy teams, if you recall that. And the, the subject came up about the straight men because in the comedy team, the guy who gets all the attention is the wacko. The, you know, the Jerry Lewis, not the Dean Martin. The um, uh, Desi, Desi Arnaz was a straight man to Lucille Ball. Um, now, the comedy, in, in, in the straight man world, you can't say that they didn't have a character. I think of um, uh, Bud Abbott, Lou Costello. Bud Abbott was uh, the, the straight man who would uh, always be angry with Lou Costello. And uh, Dean Martin kind of did the same thing. Yeah, antagonize the uh, antagonist. Yeah, they they had a character, but they they weren't trying to be funny. They they would just play their character. They'd be the straight man, and all the jokes would be all the silly stuff would be done by the the wacko of the two. Hmm. Well, but, there is a real value of of being a straight man. You have a question. You had your hand up. Well, no, that. <laughs> No, John, if you have to go to the bathroom, that's we'll a professor. We'll wait, don't mind we'll me. <laughs> I'm just talking with my hands. Okay. But, but well, you're going right where I was taking this, which is this: the straight man was really important. Very important. You know, when I've done comedy on stage, and I've done a little bit uh, through improv, and even even some through karaoke, if you can believe that, where I, I do a duet song like "G Officer Krupke." Uh, in many ways, I was the straight person making making sure that the timing was fed just right to the comedic personality so that they would deliver the perfect punchline. Um, I think straight the straight men throughout history are very proud of their craft. They, their job is their job is not emotion. Their job is syncopation. In other words, you have to have everything right as if it were a metronome. You have to just have it like it runs like a clock so that all of the shenanigans and madcap uh, antics of, of the, whoever the, the funny man was were able to deliver it just as if they were on target and they were just in sync with each other. So it's a very synchronated job and role, and nobody did it better than Bud Abbott. I mean, he was absolutely the best, and they had so many routines, and of course the biggest routine, Who's On First, which is absolutely pure syncopation and it just works to a t and they did that performance on stage on camera on television for years and it never lost its luster i would also say that there's one other role that straight men have played over the years and that is that they were crooners they could sing not only could they you know provide the impetus for comedy if not the comedy itself just the impetus. But they could sing. Bing Crosby was obvi obviously the counterpart to Bob Hope, but he could sing. He was great. Uh, uh, the, the same goes with Dean Martin. I mean, Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin. Dean Martin could sing. Even Zeppo Marx was known to sing in some of the movies that they were in. So, And the Marx Brothers, and there, there's no arguing that Zeppo Marx was the, the straight man to three zany characters. And that, I mean, imagine doing it with one. To be able to work with three is really, uh, that's a challenge and a chore. But let me tell you how talented uh, Zeppo Marx was. If one of the other Marx Brothers happened to be sick on a screening date, he could step in and play their parts. Sometimes what you're watching in Duck Soup or Monkey Business or The Coconuts, it's not Groucho. It's actually Zeppo impersonating Groucho. Groucho once said that the best Groucho Marx is always played by Zeppo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what about someone uh, like you know, the, three, the Three Stooges? Uh, I was going to bring them up, yeah. yeah. Uh, what what's um, uh, Mo? Mo was Mo really the straight guy or no, no no not at all no no I would say the straight man and all of that was Larry think about that did Larry do a lot of funny things he was the butt of the job I mean he would get the hit as much as as Curly would but really yes. all of the 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 angry demeanor of Mo and the 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 silliness of Shemp and Curly oh my come on Larry I mean can you name one little attribute that Larry gave out to the public you can't but you can go through a litany of crazy things that curly did yeah. so i mean no larry was by far the straight man in in that group and he and, and again 
he was also in the, some of the early uh, uh, shorts. Um, he would he could be seen playing an instrument. He was also you know he was actually very musically inclined as well. They had wanted to shape uh, the the Three Stooges with with a kind of a musical intent provided by Larry, just the way Harpo does in his films. Uh, it, it playing the harp and what, what Chico does playing the piano but they ended up making only two reelers and there just wasn't time for that kind of a musical interlude which was a shame because Larry was really an accomplished musician even though there wasn't a lot of, of uh, uh, comedy like the Marx Brothers and Laurel and Hardy but uh, also uh, uh, Spencer Tracy and Hepburn it seems that he was always the straight man for her madcap kind of stuff. Well, that's uh, true. It wasn't, it wasn't pure comedy, as we know, you know, like right. Abbott and Costello. Well, I, I think if you're looking for madcap comedy provided by Katherine Hepburn, you have to look at Bringing Up Baby opposite Cary Grant or mm. The Philadelphia Story opposite Cary Grant. Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn were a natural, mature team uh, in, in adult when I say adult, I mean mature co uh, comedies like Adam's Rib and Pat and Mike. Yeah. But if you're looking for that madcap comedy, then you have to look at the Philadelphia story, bringing mm -hmm. up baby. And you see Cary Grant so adept at playing the straight man to all of Catherine Hepburn's antics. So, yeah. Anyway, here's to the straight men in comedy, <laughs> because without them, the gags wouldn't be as funny. Wait, uh, so can I say, but a bump. <laughs> Thank you for feeding me the line. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Art, you're, you're hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Always that? leave them laughing, guys. Say goodbye. See ya. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.